My name is Lily Lakic. I'm a neon artist. I became interested in neon from uh, childhood, driving across the country with my family from one army base to another. My father was in the uh, military and we would choose the motel we stayed at based on which one had the best neon sign. Every two years or three years, we would be transferred and we were in Germany for six years. I came back to the U.S. to go to college at Pratt Institute and I was not interested in what they were teaching. I hated painting, I hated printmaking, I hated everything they were teaching except drawing. And when I found out that Neon was drawing with light, that's when I went to pursue it. Neon was not taught in art school. I went to a local sign company in New York, asked if they would teach me, and they said no. But one man there gave me a couple of scrap neon tubes, a little white heart, and the word chocolate in green script, and made me a diagram of how to wire it to a transformer, said I could go down to Canal Street and buy a transformer, and so that's how I got started. The biggest challenge, of course, is trying to buck a male-dominated industry. After I graduated from Pratt Institute, I got a job with the welfare department, and so I was a social worker in New York for a year before then uh, coming to Los Angeles. My career at that time, I became an art director for the entertainment industry, uh, designing movie posters, brochures. I did that for 15 years before finally being able to transition to making a living solely from my neon art. And that came about by my having a, a big show in Japan. Japan, they have lots and lots of neon in their landscape, and so they were very intrigued by seeing it as a fine art form and seeing it used in more pictorial way than the way they do their signs. I do multiple drawings before doing a final neon piece. I do preparatory sketches, I do a finished drawing, and then I blow that up to the size of the finished piece and make a drawing of that as well. I made the drawing called Self-Portrait with Sneer and made it into an eight-foot neon sculpture. And in 1978, I was offered a show in Paris. I went to Paris for four months and created 10 sculptures for a show in the Rue du Dragon. One of the sculptures that I recreated was Self-Portrait with Sneer. I've done lots of self-portraits and uh, and that one was just a little uh, angry, I guess. <laughs> I was kind of angry throughout the 70s. <laughs> I would go to exhibitions, and they were all uh, kind of boring to me because I've seen all that same stuff being just regurgitated. I said to my friends, uh, you know, there really needs to be a a neon museum. And my friends would say, well, you can't start your own museum. But in fact, you can. With my friend Richard Jenkins, we uh, made a nonprofit museum of neon art. We started having exhibitions in 1982. And the museum is still going uh, strong. It's now in Glendale. Los Angeles is great because you can get materials very, very easily. It's more difficult in New York, it's more difficult in San Francisco, it's more difficult other places, but uh, you have your own vehicle <laughs> that you can go pick up things. I've loved Los Angeles since I arrived. I love the fact that you're more independent here than in other places. The piece, Vacancy No Vacancy, was my very first commission given to me by a woman in the entertainment industry. She was a film editor. I actually took photographs of her nude and, and created this portrait of, of her body with the word vacancy and the word no. The work had a switch on it so she could switch it to say vacancy or to say no vacancy sort of advertising whether she was available or not available. And it's become a feminist uh, statement. 
I've been teaching neon design and fabrication since 1982. I love teaching because I learn so much myself through teaching. The people that come to my neon workshop come with ideas out of left field, things that are not traditional to the medium. And so we figure out how to, how to make them work and it expands my knowledge. My greatest disappointment is that most of them only do one piece in my workshop and never go on to do any more, but a few people have gone on to, to develop more work over the years. And my classes are at least 50% women, and some women have gone on to become neon artists. I feel very proud of that. 